I'm Janet Decay, the mummy. And I'm Grimgory, the monkey. And together we host The, the Mummy and, and the, the Monkey's Hairy Scary Hangout! Friday nights on Facebook Live. Well, that was interesting. Whoa. Wow. Hanging out here in the eBay dungeon, I've got to pack up some orders. I'm going to show you what's sold. I've got some smalls here. This is, oh, what the heck is his name? Destroya. This is Destroya from Godzilla. This is, um, he went for $12 shipped. This is from a pack that Kmart used to sell. It's made by Bandai from like 2002, and I've been piecing them out. This is Godzilla from that same playset. It's called like Destruction something or other. And uh, yeah, it has the 2002 Toho Bandai on there. This guy went for $10 shipped. And then this is from the anime, the cartoon, and the uh, manga, the book. This is, um, the character's name is L from Death Note. Death Note is the series. This guy went for 21 something with shipping included. This is a vintage tin. Keylox brand. It was for um, ribbon, typewriter ribbon, the, the ink or the ribbon. This went for $6 plus shipping. It's just a cute little tin. And then this sold for $29.99 with shipping included. This is the Dead or Alive Ultimate um, Nylon Banner. It's like a fabric banner made by Tecmo. So yeah, $29.99 there. And then I have, so once I get these packed up, there's more stuff I need to pull. I think I have three other orders. All right, I sold the last of my Dino toys. This is Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas. This is a Dino squeezy toy, squeaky toy. Um, this went for $9.99 with shipping included. That was a yard sale purchase from over the summertime. I bought like three or four of these for maybe a quarter a piece. All right, this is a little um, collectible bunny, Hoppy Vander Hair, a winter frolic. And it's a little bunny wearing little winter gear. And look at that cute little bunny tail. And he's got the tag. I think he went for $15.50 plus shipping. I sold a cute little silver coach bag. Isn't that cute? This little coach bag sold for $29.99 with shipping included. And I think I paid between five and seven dollars for it. I don't remember. I think I picked this up at a Savers and it was priced lower because it's a smaller bag and because the lining was stained up. I did wash the lining and got a good chunk of the stains out. So it's not too bad. And it's it's super cute. All right, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I sold this DVD for $9 with shipping included. I believe these were DVDs we picked up for a dollar at a thrift store and this is sealed. I had two of them. This is the last one. All right, this was from the flea market. I don't remember what I paid for it, but he went for $10 with shipping included. Um, there used to be jewelry vendors at the flea markets where you would just grab a handful of junk jewelry or costume jewelry and they would say, oh, five bucks, ten bucks. So I don't remember, but it's marked JJ and it's a scarab beetle pendant. It's really cute. Okay, guys, so we did go to a couple thrift stores the past couple days. We went to a Volunteers of America, and we went to a Value World. And I think between the two, sp uh, between the two stores, I spent close to $40. I spent $34 at Volunteers, and then I spent maybe like 8 or 
you know, seven or eight bucks at the at the value world. So let's show you what I got. Um, so this is an Estee Lauder mirror. I paid two ninety two for it. It lifts up, and it's a, a makeup mirror, and then it has like a you know your storage for your makeups. And Estee Lauder vintage stuff seems to um, sell, but it's a slower item. This definitely looks 90s. It does look a little bit older. So I have to research that. I just thought it was a neat a neat thing. I grabbed some costume jewelry. This is a, a Christmas tree pin. I have sold these in the past. And some of them are pretty good. Anywhere from 15 to 100 bucks, depending on who made the pin and what it's made out of. Um, this one looks like it might have a signature. I can't make it out, so I'll have to research that. This is a rose quartz pin with some weird beading on it. And it, it is signed by the artist. I think it's silver plated. Um, paid a couple bucks each for these pins. This is a pewter pin in its flowers. And it's signed Seagull, 1989. And it looks like the artist is from Canada. It's marked Canada. This is a vintage notebook, paid 96 or 90 cents for it. 90 cents. It's a bridge like scorekeeper notebook, but it's vintage. This looks like it's from the 50s or 60s. It even comes with the original pencil. So that's pretty neat. While you were out, okay, I paid 90 cents for this baggie. I don't know if it has any value. I just thought it looked so cool. Um, it says, let's see, carbon. Interlay forms, data processing forms, advertising brochures, West 4th Street, Cleveland, Ohio. So it was a downtown Cleveland business from back in the day. This is probably 60s or 70s. And it has the phone number listed before you would have your area code. Um, I just thought they were cute. So some old notebooks I can look through. All right, so I did pick up a bag of miscellaneous Barbie doll stuff. And most of it I'm going to donate right back. A lot of these pieces are broken or missing pieces, but I did find some worth saving. Um, that whole bag was $9, this one here. But I think I can um, still make money on it, even though a good chunk of it I'm donating back. This is a Barbie fish tank. This is from a living room playset from the 90s. Or no, not 90s. Um, 2006, and it says 2006 Mattel. And I think I could get $20 for this because that's a really cool piece. It's for your Barbie living room. They can have their very own fish tank. This is a Barbie rocking chair from a nursery play set where I think the Barbie was a babysitter or something. The chair needs cleaned, but I think I could get uh, 10 to $15 for this chair. This is a Barbie dresser from another play set. It's marked Mattel. And it says Mattel 1998. And I can get between 10 and 15 for this. Um, this isn't Mattel, but it is marked Simba. S-I-M-B-A. And that's a toy company that made a lot of knockoff Barbie doll stuff. So maybe I could try 10 bucks um, on this little stroller. It's like a little dolly stroller. So not too bad. I was hoping there would be some pieces. Ooh, I sold something. I was hoping there would be some pieces or parts I could salvage out of that bag. And yeah, when I buy uh, grab bags like that where it's miscellaneous, I will take out, you know, the good stuff I think I could sell and just donate back the rest. It's not worth messing with it. Okay, um, and then dollies. So I paid a couple bucks at uh, Value World for some of these Barbies. Um, this is a Skipper doll that was 90 cents. I think if I find a complete outfit for her with little shoes and fix her hair, you know, between 10 and $15. But I wanted to rescue her from the thrift store. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> There's a Pocahontas doll. This is a 1990s, just, I don't know, blonde Barbie doll. But maybe I could fix their hair, put little outfits on them and sell them with an outfit and um, to get them a new home. <laughs> this is like miscellaneous clothing, doll clothing. I bought this maybe for myself. It's a Lancome Paris glittery makeup bag. I thought it was kind of cute. Maybe I could use it for my own stuff. This was with the Barbie dolls. This is Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony. And she is from 2010. 
Her hair is a mess. I got to fix her up and maybe I could flip her online. If I can't get her cleaned up to uh, have her look nice, I'll just donate her back. Let someone else mess with it. Hush Puppies. These are Hush Puppies Vintage Ladies Shoes. These are from the 70s. I paid $3.49 for them at Value World. And they're um, in pretty decent shape for being that old. So I'm thinking maybe $25 to $30 for these guys. It looks like they might be a size 6 or 7. There's another uh, Barbie. This is a mermaid Barbie that was in the baggie with those other Barbies. Here's a Betty Boop. A Betty Boop of Frankenstein, like Bride of Frankenstein Betty. I got her because I love Halloween stuff, and I thought she was cute. I paid $3.93 for her. I might be able to get... I might be able to put her up for $20 with free shipping and just uh, ship her in a baggie. She's real lightweight. Um, here's a Ted Baker makeup, like a tote bag, $3.93. Ted Baker's a really good brand. I think I've sold Ted Baker bags before for around $50. This is all plastic, so I don't know, maybe $25, but it looked really nice. Yeah. Walk together. Well, here we are. Mm hmm. So these are not too loud, so you may be able to talk to them. I don't know. I can. He played a uh, pretty cool Sheila E. Uh, like an obscure song in there. I heard that. That was St. Mark. It sounded like something you would. Yeah. Oh, I totally knew other music. Help you look. What do you, what do you know you're looking for? No. <laughs> that could be nice. A personal touch. Play our record. Society Bank. Is it in here? Like a little rubber record? Barnaby Records? The Streak. Ray Stevens? Ray Stevens, yeah. That's, um, you know, um, Barbara Streisand. Comedy. Is there craziness here? Um, I don't I remember how so much the record is. Oh, kind of weird they thing. have a, a sign posted up there. Like if you buy on the tippy top there. One and the other one's a dollar or something like that. I don't know. Do they have the well, buy ten CDs for a penny deal? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. that Columbia a House. Remember that if you do a voiceover. Okay. Well, I'll let you look. I'm gonna go walk by the toys yeah. real quick. Well, I didn't want that on tape. <laughs> did you look through all the VHS, hon? I did. I mean, I really did. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. Cray. Nothing cray. You got yeah. a stack of tapes there. Some tapes and VHS and DVD. Cool. Fun stuff. I mean, some mystery stuff. There's so just much. so much stuff here. This is just one booth. Yeah, this is just one booth. Find <laughs> you. Concentrate a little bit. But it's hard to see. Dolly stuff. Maybe that's Barbie stuff from a playset or something. Yeah, pieces and parts. Oh, well, there's some dolls there. Oh, two dollars each. Let's look. Anything good? Yeah. Princess Jasmine. on those. Old sewing things, that's kind of neat. It's kind of cute. That's a neat mask. I think that's Jason Voorhees, I think. I appreciate you like it, New uh, line. Yeah, I like that. 24 or one. Well, that's Jason, yeah. yeah. He's cool. You should get him. I think I might. I think says or tears or rips. Um, it's got some business on there. Yeah, it's a little bit older. But it ain't too bad. No, not too bad. They want a 10 for him? Yeah, 20. 20? We'll He's cool, though. Old cameras, camera stuff. There's another box back there with old cameras. Did you see it? Uh, oh, yeah, back it's by the behind. film stuff. Yeah, like on the other side, there's a box on the bottom full of a bunch of cameras. I, I didn't look through them, but this is like cases, but there could be cameras in there. I don't know. I kind of looked over there. I, I thought those were film reels. It was all audio. Yeah, I saw Audio that. reels. But beneath that, there's a box of cameras. Yeah, I saw those too. The audio reels? Yeah. I saw those too. Uh, no, I, oh. I I saw the reels, but I thought they were eight millimeter film. Or, oh. Yeah, but yeah. it was audio. Audio. Yeah. I thought it was like video so film. Back here or underneath, like. Um, they were like oh, back, back on a shelf. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I know which ones you're talking about. Yeah. I opened yeah. it. I'm like, is this a film? Nah, it's yeah, audio. Yeah, no, I know which ones you're talking about. No. <laughs> those right those I had picked out too. Yeah. yeah. On yeah, I'm gonna get him. Yep. And then the Stolly. 
so I'll get those two. Um, this, it's, yeah, I think that's the only glass I got. And then, yeah, I think those I'll pass on. I'll hang them back up though. Hang up the necklaces. Brady Bunch. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had that. I had uh, the other one from uh, the um, Bundy guy. Oh, Al Bundy. Yeah. Al Bundy. Yeah. yeah the I had him. The Migos. Yeah. I've got Peg Bundy. <laughs> yeah, it was in the, the case with the dollies over oh, there. Was in that yeah, one? I didn't know what you had on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one here is five dollars. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. okay. So you had the skeleton yeah. handle for three. Okay. Right, and this is the five. And then you said 15 on those. 15 on that. So, right. so you got 23 here. 23? Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, I got it. All right. Yeah. They must probably start with the robbery. I know. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Hey. Do you have change? <laughs> yeah. Out of 40? Okay. I didn't use, I didn't use the one in here. I used one in here. Is that all you wanted? Yeah. You want the jewelry? No. I, I put it back. Oh, did yeah. you? Okay. Oh. okay. You right. know, maybe we could get ours together. He, he still has. Because mine, I'm at 23. Okay. What else do you want? Oh, these uh, movies you want stuff and this mask if it's for sale. Okay, here. 20, 23. Make it 30. 20. Uh, it's too cool. That is so cool. Bill Starcher. That looks like that would take forever to make. Hand. Cool. All right. We're that's to, all retail. That's though. all like furniture. Yeah. It's like a furniture okay. store over there. Mm. Yep. Oh, this is all horror VHS, but they're probably all individually, you know. Oh, I see. I, I see Hellraiser sealed, but I don't know what they it's have on those. Theater, the movie, hey, they got some, hey, nice. Tom, hey, Crow. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. The TV series, The Marshall Chronicles. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what they're asking for them though. The VHS? The VHS, yeah. They've got some sets marked up here, but I don't know what the individual. There's more on the side there. Oh, look, this whole thing's like a VHS store. So much tapes. So many tapes. Yeah, they, wow, there's a lot of them. I never got to really look at this. I never tried to look at this. 
Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to run over your foot. I didn't though. I know you didn't. You're all right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're cool. We're cool. Oh, what's that? What shoes are those? I don't know, it doesn't say. Go look down here a little bit. Whee. Yeah, maybe. Shiny stuff. Buckles and stuff. Old compacts, those are neat. Yeah. <laughs> dollar, one dollar each. Oh, those are like McDonald's toys. Yeah. Beetles. T-shirts. Look at that guy. Oh, that was probably part of a set. That little guy. <laughs> Versus five. Okay. I'm going to look here a minute. I wonder if I could clean that up. Might be able to be washed. That's nice. Clean, but five bucks, you know. Yeah, for five, that's good. I could probably wash them up. There's a couple of them in there. There's a few poach and then there's another couple of junior birds. Cool. Let me set this down. Um, yeah, they just need cleaned up. I think they could be good. For the price, I wanted to try them. There's cool stuff here. Take a peek. That's really cute. Is that like a fairy thing? Yeah, mm, yeah a crystal. Or yeah, a some type of stone. Crystal, yeah. Here, do you want to carry that around? You want it? Mm hmm. Just walk around with it while it's rolling. You need to be on this a little bit <laughs> to prove you wear your mask. Yeah. Well, it's getting hot. Yeah, it does that. The, the battery doesn't last too long because it's over. Mm hmm. Touch if you will in my tummy. Oh, that's the Osbournes. Yeah, yeah, the Osbournes. That's a cool old bike. Mm hmm. 70s maybe. Hello. Hello. Guitar. <laughs> uh oh. Opa. <laughs> Well, they broke it, so then they got to buy that, you know? Oh, she's close today. Mm -hmm. I bought jewelry off of her. Is that Victrola? Yeah. Yeah, you should get a video of that. Now, that's cool. Mm -hmm.
You play some old timey music. Kabuki <laughs> mask. That's cool. Friends, 1986. Not often. It's still neat. You can't buy anything here, though. No, they're closed. But it's fun to look at. 12.99. Love Hina. Love Hina. Fair price, it probably is all really worth it. Yeah, they got another one there, too. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> got I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> hey, we got a whole cart with stuff in it. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're not too bad. This, the GoPro, this one we got for like, well, a friend of ours sold his like, whole kit for like a hundred bucks. But new ones will go for about 250 for a lot better, for newer ones. They're not that expensive. Too. They could be, they could get real expensive, but... Mm -hmm. I want to get a mount so I have to hold it like this, but, but yeah, it's not bad. I mean, this is an older one. It's like Go GoPro 2 or something, or 4, so they're up to like 8 now. So they're not bad. Mm. This is Tony's booth. The price was right. All right. Ready? <laughs> Giving me the camera again? Okay. Yeah, the battery's like running out, but a little bit of life in it left. Mm -hmm. You got you walked around and got video of the aisles. Some of it, yeah. it looks I, I cool. Know, yeah. YouTube will like it. I don't see it. Okay. Well, you said to go back down. Oh, okay. Say hi, Tony. <laughs> My little GoPro, it's an older one. The battery yeah, doesn't. You usually keep it clipped on a backpack and you go to garage sale. And then my hair's in the way for the video and it ruins it. <laughs> yeah. I want to get a newer one. The batteries last longer on the new ones. Now, people don't know you're taping them, right? You're at garage sales and stuff? No, not really? really. Sometimes they'll ask, like, hey, is that a camera? Because it's smaller, not everyone notices. Mm -hmm. And I just say, yeah, we do YouTube. If they ask us to turn it off, we turn it off. But. Okay. Start singing. <laughs> I get it. Some people don't want to be on camera, so I won't, you know, I won't video them if they don't want to be. I sound terrible on camera. <laughs> Where would our cart go? Did he get the cart? I don't know. I think he went up that way. Oh, okay. Let's see where he went to. There's that crazy wrestling buddy. Wrestling buddy? 
that last one sold for 900 bucks. Oh, wow. Ted DiBiase. That's wild. See, we have another friend that had some um, vintage wrestling stuff. He wanted me to sell for him. Yeah. I mean, it was sitting on eBay for like a year. No one bought it, so he, I'm giving the items back to him. Sold for $900. Wow, that's wild. You know what it was? That's cool. They made Macho Man, Hulk Hogan. Those are the popular ones. Yeah. They didn't make a lot of oh, the million off. dollar man, you know. So. Yeah. I've had these before. Loose. I find them for like 10 bucks at Rogers or something. That is so I'll, cool. I'll sell them for like 50, 75 bucks here. Yeah, people like that stuff. Some of it does sell, but some of it, like, people will like it online, but they don't always want to pull the trigger and buy. So I'll, yeah. I'll have watchers on some stuff, but then like some items will sit for a year. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a little lazy on eBay. Don't fit in my drawer, you know, or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of my stuff I could do on eBay and make decent money, but I yeah, pack it up. And... Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So <laughs> the whole back seat of the car is filled with stuff. Um, we bought a cartload of stuff at the Streetsboro flea market here. Um, I'm trying to remember how much I spent and how much James spent, but it wasn't much. I think we spent like under a hundred or around a hundred. And then we got some freebies from the stellar Tony Beller. So that's pretty awesome. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Streetsboro. And there's James. <laughs> and we're probably going to go get some sandwiches, maybe get something from a drive through and then go look around the local Goodwill here and then head. All right, so we spent about $70 at the flea market total and we got some really good deals. We got two cartloads full of things. Um, I'm going to show a little bit at a time. So here's a baby doll from Tony Beller. We bought from different vendors too and then um, Tony hooked us up with some stuff he didn't want anymore and, and he said he doesn't like dealing with the dolls so I got a lot of dolls from him. Thank you Tony. <laughs> um, these are uh, vintage mid-century like little ballerina or like dancing couples. These lamps are really cute. I don't I try not to buy too many breakables but these guys were kind of cool. They uh, I had a gut feeling about them so I'm going to give them a try. They were I think I paid 15 for those if I had to put up an individual price. And then here's another doll. Uh, looks like she has a little handmade outfit. I have to research that. Charmin, uh, Charmin Chatty doll from 1962. I think she's Chatty Kathy's friend or something. She's a tall girl. And I like that she has this cute like side eye going on <laughs> with her eyes like she's up to something. Um, I guess she does work. She's a pull string doll, so she does talk. So that's cute. Um, this is a Barbie bicycle playset. These were from Tony. Um, this is an international doll with a bank. So it's like a doll piggy bank. It looks like maybe she's from the 70s or 80s. Has that retro artwork. Moxie boys. So the Moxie dolls were like fashion dolls that came with... Um, you would have hats and wigs and different hairstyles for them. This is like a um, a cancer one where he's got a bald head there. But yeah, this is a Moxie Boys. I, I think this was originally a charity doll. But he's cool. So I'll have to look him up. Um, they're fashion dolls. It's a series of fashion dolls. Just another company trying to compete with Barbie. Box of vintage 1980s and 1990s Barbie dolls. So this is going to be fun. Um, they have a little bit of a mildew. Uh, thing going on so I'm going to give them all baths and make sure they're nice and clean so I can get them new homes This is Hollywood hair Barbie from 1992. I actually used to have that doll back in the day um, There's like skipper dolls in here. It's all kind of random. I think there's some Disney princesses in here um, So this will be fun. This is like a project one. This will take some time to go through these purses, um, some of them are in really good shape. Some of them have some stains and I need to see if I can clean them for resale. This is a vintage coach bag. One vendor had this for only $4. I'll have to look up the serial number and make sure it's authentic. But this could be really good. That's um, all leather, has the brass turn lock, has the brass uh, fixtures there. This is a Dooney and Burke bag. 
it has some spots and some stains some leather trim but it's mostly canvas so I don't know but for okay so one two three four five I've got five of these bags for 20 this bag for four um, so I thought the price was right where I can kind of play around with these. These are like fixer-upper bags. Um, this is another coach bag. It's all leather, but it has a cloth lining. This is a canvas coach, like a little tote bag with leather trim here. So it's, it's more modern. It's not as nice as the all leather bag. Here, so here's a perfect example. And I've talked about this in other videos. Look, this, this just is poor quality compared to this. A nice solid all leather bag that won't get ripped up or stained up like the um, canvas bags it's such a bad idea they charge you the same amount of money like 200 300 bucks for a brand new bag but then like the quality is crap um, okay here is another one this is marked coach but it's mostly nylon this is nylon material with just a few little leather pieces so this is like a real cheapy coach bag it's not as nice as this one, even though this one's older. But at the thrift stores, I noticed, they'll charge you like, they'll, they'll price these higher if it has the logo. This doesn't have the Coach logo anywhere on the outside, so it's oftentimes overlooked. Um, this bag I don't know about. It just, she was charging me five bags for 20 at the one vendor. So I grabbed this one just because it looked interesting and it had this little metal label here, Hedgren, with a serial number. So I thought, well, maybe that could be something. It's just a little nylon backpack. So we'll see. This is, a, this is Barbie's friendship. This is like a, 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 a plane play set, like a Barbie airplane play set. Um, it's from the 70s. It's definitely been played with. It's all beat up, but it's made out of like this vinyl material over cardboard. I think that's how they made this and it folds up where it has like a carrying little handle there. So it's like a vinyl material. So I think that can clean up with some mild soap and a magic eraser. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to ship, um, but maybe I could sell it locally or something. All right, and then this is the rest of the stuff that we picked up from Tony Beller. There's some other stuff too, but um, you know, we may or may not show it. That's okay. Um, so here's a cool Barbie watch. I'm trying to open it with one hand here. There's a Barbie watch that's really nice, like brand new there. Um, an Annie doll. Some other baby dolls. This, this um, interesting porcelain doll. She's like real lanky and looks like she's from the 1950s. And then these other little vintage dolls that look very mod era with the bright neon colors, probably late 60s, early 70s. And these are awesome. I'm going to end up keeping these probably for the bathroom. They're little fish and they're chalkware. I, I just love these little guys. They're so adorable. I love the, the vintage chalkware little wall hangings. So yeah, some stuff I do keep. I don't always sell everything. This really cool Jason mask. Yeah, it's missing a few things now that I looked. I just looked it up. Um, I probably paid way too much for it. It was twenty bucks he wanted for it. Uh, it's missing a. a that, this, there's like some spots on this on the top here that like uh, look like something was there. there. He had little strands of hair. They hung down, real tiny ones. I think you look. At, there's some left on it. Looks like it's there. Oh well, we could but, glue hair on yeah, him. You know. He's like, and he's missing, he had a mask that came with it, the hockey mask, too, that uh, was with it. Well, but, we could um, put a hockey mask on I him. mean, I might just probably only be able to sell it for 25 bucks. Because uh, with the mask and everything, um, online, it's like 60 bucks. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, sometimes we do find cool stuff to resell. This was not... Probably pay too much for it, It's a cool find if if, if it's for if keeps. It was like five bucks, but... Yeah, 20, 20 is a little steep. I guess... Um, yeah. In our minds, we thought it could have been worth more yeah, because no, some we'll masks see. are. But, you'll, but you don't know. Who knows? I might, but, I might try to get 40 for it and see what I get. Yeah, I mean, we'll try it. Someone um, might just want it to have for their collection. He just looked cool. I just thought he'd look cool for the video. Yeah. And then I uh, really, you know, just found a couple of... Sci-Fi Invasion. Yeah, well, this yeah. is uh, four, a movie sci-fi movie four-pack. 
Yeah. And, and then for me to watch, and these are a couple things that's really, and these weren't really worth that much. Caught money. on tape I paid stuff. A buck for that, and an old know, tiny movie. Probably a buck for that. So. And then you found you also found a stack of mystery tapes. Well. well like yeah. VHS and stuff like that to go through. So. Yeah, and other cassette tapes too. Like, uh, uh, these were at least fifty cents a piece. They didn't set me back too much. I don't know what I'll find in them again. It's just more for me and my found hound stuff. You know, I like to try to find stuff that. I could, uh, so, who knows what you'll find who knows radio programs. What will be on these old mystery tapes? Maybe some local Cleveland radio. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that's pretty, and some, uh, like you said, mystery. Oh, actually, and here's a, uh, a rare movie. Um, someone has it on, uh, on eBay for like 20 bucks, but it's, it's a, called Flywheel. And it's really hard to find anything on this, like, uh, without digging a little deeper, but, yeah, that's that's when I just from the cover I could tell that it was something that was unusual and not you know something I haven't seen I don't see all the time when I'm out, so it kind of for better or lack of reason kind of just kind of glows when it's on the shelf. I'm like, that's different. It looks like an indie title. title. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and I, when I looked it up on eBay, yeah, someone has one for like I think they had for like is it forty bucks? Some kind of weird price, but yeah. So that was a dollar, you know, or so. so. Cool. Not too bad there if it sells, but who knows. Yeah. Sometimes things like this could be so obscure, no one knows what they are to look for them. So. Yeah, I mean, we we got two cartloads of stuff, and I think some of it could be really good. Yeah. The mask, maybe not so much, but you learn as you go with some of this. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Woohoo! <laughs>